Hello, 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 my crafty friends. Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be here with you guys today because we are making some amazing, amazing ornaments. And guys, these are super affordable. So you're going to absolutely love to see how we made these acrylic ornaments. They are so much fun. Um, we're gonna do a painting technique, very much draw brushing. It's gonna be amazing. We're using some amazing Makers to Learn cut balls and fonts today. So you're gonna be absolutely blown away by this project. But before we jump into it, my friends, I wanted to say happy Veterans Day to everyone out there. Um, whether you are a vet, you know a vet, be sure to thank a vet. We are super, super excited that you all are here with us on Veterans Day. How many people are out of work? I did not know, Lauren, there are people that's either like, like our school systems in. What's crazy though is Hawkins County, the county school system is out, but the city school system is going to school. Okay, but they gave Lauren's son two days off so they can have parent-teacher conferences. So I'm still confused yeah. what's going on. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> but hello everyone. As you tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods because we are excited to hang out with you. Guys, the holiday season is here. We, How much fun did you have at Maker Boot Camp? We had so much fun at Maker Boot Camp, guys. It was, it was amazing. It was. I'm still a little tired from it. And I just went on a trip. Like, I mean, I've, yes, I'm still very tired. <laughs> I love it. Well, my friends, we are super excited to be back. I hope you all have enjoyed the videos. We posted two videos earlier this week. So if you didn't check those out, be sure to go back and watch them. I have an amazing uh, vinyl comparison video, testing out Dollar Tree vinyl, which is something I've wanted to do literally since I found out that Cricut, or, or there was a vinyl that could work in a Cricut at Dollar Tree. And there's something about the Dollar Tree that you guys just love. Like, I don't know how to put it, but it's amazing. Oh, I signed up for Makers Gonna Sublimate. Welcome, Betsy. We are super, super excited for you to be part of Makers Gonna Sublimate. If you guys did not hear, it's $70 off if you are signing up right now during our Black Friday special. And I just wanna let you guys know, Makers Gonna Sublimate, there's a very fun, fun, fun um, little gift that you will be learning about very soon. So we're super excited for that. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And that launches December 1st. Um, if you're not already a member, our Black Friday special is live. So you can say yes to membership today. Use that coupon code BEST at checkout, B E S T, and lock in your year membership. It's the first link down below. Lauren's got you taken care of here in the comments. So it is so much fun. We're so excited. Welcome all our new members. Welcome all our new friends. Um, we're super excited. This is, I'm blown away at how affordable these are. I mean, these mm -hmm. are cheap. Mm -hmm. They're very this affordable. This was one of my, um, I don't want to say it was my absolute favorite Christmas one, Christmas craft that we done, but it was it's up there in the top for it's sure. It's really good. And I think because it's so easy. It's so easy, but it looks so good yes. and so trendy. And yeah. you can literally make the color, whatever, whatever. color your theme you're going oh, in your house. You can pick any font, Blue, really. Blue, green. If you're going for a more... Um, this is a more feminine font. If yeah. you wanted a more masculine font. Yes, you could just, do... You can do all different colors so for your whole family. I yeah. just, I love the versatility of this it. This one's gonna be a really great one to get you guys motivated to, you know, go out, grab some acrylic blanks. We're gonna talk about this. We have linked um, an acrylic blank that you will be able to use. Um, so that'll be super fun on Amazon, really affordable. We're going to teach you, of course, how to do the designing. If we go to the second camera, we'll take a look at these a little bit more up close. Let me know if these look good and okay. um, you can see them. These are adorable. We're super excited. Um, so we're using the Addy Kate font. So the Addy Kate font is adorable. This is a Makers Gonna Learn font. So be sure to check that out. We are super, super excited um, for that right here. Um, so this is adorable. We're gonna teach you the paint technique. It's not hard at all. We're actually going to layer the paint. Um, to get this result, you just need to layer that paint. Okay, my friends? Um, so I'm gonna teach you the really easy technique of being able to do the paint, but what I find interesting is this is the tip that Courtney and Lauren and I were talking about prior. Um, the tip is that you're able to put the vinyl on first. Yes. Then paint it. This is something, but so I've, 
I was the one that kind of painted these and it, through trial and error discovered that it's a really interesting hack putting the vinyl on first mm -hmm. really allows you to control your paint and where it's going to be yes. um and it lets you be it. a lot more precise with your paint instead of just putting your paint on right, and then right, trying right. to fit your vinyl oh to goodness. your paint. Well, this that way you awesome. can get it very the vinyl very straight right. and then go whichever direction, whichever direction. Or you want mm. to go with your paint. Yeah, this is going to be so fun. So we're going to layer it a few times just to get like, if you notice in the center, like it's really, um, you know, it's stacked quite a bit. That's why we're going to layer it. So the layering hack there, um, we're using a heat tool now if you use heat embossing if you um, do any paper crafting or anything like that you probably already have a heat gun but if you do not have one and you're painting with acrylic paint or anything like that you're gonna absolutely love 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 this heat gun right here it's like game changer when it comes to doing a project like this but other than that guys we have do, 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 I've lost my roll of ribbon here so you have your acrylic blank that's really affordable you're going to use a piece of scrap white vinyl really easy we have the ribbon and then we have the paint and the paintbrush so i would say primarily like all types of things that you already have at mm -hmm. home so all of this will be so fun so we're really excited beth says tanner will you and courtney be doing a tour of holiday decor in your new home i don't know beth i don't know i i've been so torn about like, I don't know, filming in my, my new house. I am filming some videos in my kitchen next week. So mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we're going to do that. I don't know. We've got, I mean, Lauren, we can just be real. We haven't decorated the tree. No, we still have so much work to do as far as decorating for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. There's we like be... threw some stuff up to take some really pictures. nice pictures. <laughs> to stage pictures. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh... So we, I mean, after Thanksgiving, question mark, like we'll be fully, probably fully do closer decorated yeah. um, and things like that. So we're super excited. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe closer to Christmas I'll do a video because I'll just be in the holiday spirit. But right now, I don't, I don't know. It's like personal-ish. Um, so we'll see. So we're super excited. Can it be done without a heat gun, Gina? Yes. Yes, but it's it'll, be, a it'll be a patient. Longer. You're going like, to learn your patience. So when you don't use the heat gun, you have to you have let to those wait. layers dry on yes. their own mm -hmm. um and it does take a little longer because yeah. if you don't let those layers dry It'll just move it it's just gonna move that paint right off and yeah. it's gonna make it look not so good yeah so be careful about that um we're super excited because we're using um santa red so this is this is deco art's like premier red paint for this project you're going to love it um so it's gonna be really easy but guys that's how easy i mean the material on the table is very little today because this is i the idea of this is to be repetitive for your whole entire family you're going to do these stocking tags for your whole entire family so you're going to do the same you know steps a few times over we're going to make one today but you're going to be able to make all of them my friends by the end of today's training so if you are not already a member today is a great day to join to get the best deal um, you can stack your membership you can uh, join today and get grandfathered in at the lowest rate we have a really great graphic um, that i will share with you if you are an existing member and need to make sure you're getting grandfathered in properly um, so we can be able to share that with you today as well what when we jump over to our computer so um yay i love it love it i'm not sure if there's a supply list with everything we use um but i did think we had the link for some acrylic blanks so i'm not sure we can check somebody did ask do you remember where you all got the those stockings were last year's stockings right oh let me look, let me look let me do you look. remember where you got them mm -mm -mm. i want to say I want to say, oh, GG Seasons? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't feel like it was at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure where we got these at, guys. Um, you will love it. Oh, join Darren Boot Camp. Yay, welcome, welcome, welcome. If anyone's still on the fence about joining after Boot Camp, like I just want to encourage you, everyone that I've seen in the community that joined Darren Boot Camp are already crafting. Like I just want to say thank you again to everyone that posted a countdown. I've seen a ton of countdowns. I've seen a ton of boards. Yes. I've seen a ton of doormats. And they're all so good and they're all yeah. so different. Like I love they seeing your all's amazing. creativity. Like that's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is awesome. 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 Beth, the size of our little three and a half inches, three and a half inches. Look at Lauren already. Lauren already knows. Like what about if that was a quiz, Lauren, you would have won. 
I mean, I, I'm still over here measuring three and a half. <laughs> Lauren, yeah. Lauren knows. I mean, there you go. So we love it. So that is awesome. We're super, super excited. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get this set up. So if you guys are ready to say yes to membership, you just want to come over here, click the sign up now button, click right there, and you're going to be able to jump on down um, and it'll give you the year membership option. You can type in that coupon code BEST. B E S T at checkout. Do what? You said V. You had V E R S T. Oh no, I can't even spell. So then you'll be able to be locked in at an amazing rate. So we're super, super excited for you guys to say yes to membership. If you have not went ahead, scroll on down and check out all there is to offer. So this is how you get locked in. Um, no coupon code needed if you're an existing member that is logged in and stacking that membership today. Okay, my friends. But if you scroll on down. You can see monthly, six month, and yearly. And today the yearly membership is what's on sale. So that's our lowest price of the year. Amazing deal for you guys to jump in and you can just click the join now button, enter in that coupon code, super simple. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. Guys, I'm working on my new computer today and it, it's totally different. I'm brightening up my screen. Okay, here's what we've got going on. We have went ahead and we've added um, four of our names. And then what we're doing is we're, this is what they're gonna look like when they're finished, okay? This is what they're gonna look like when they're finished. Let me zoom on in. Um, so this is the goal of them once they're completed. And then what we're going to do to get here is let's scroll on down and you're gonna see, we're gonna take this B. Mary cut fall. Now the B. Mary cut fall, um, you are going to see right here at, you know, we, we use the same cut fall when we had our uh, sign. sign. So the sign mm -hmm. on the Monday of Maker Boot Camp, this right here is what we used. It's awesome, super fun. So we're just taking this to get a piece out of it. So what we're going to do is be able to grab our piece. We have measured out the size of our ornament. Um, so it's three and a half by three and a half. Um, so just a three and a half inch circle um, just to use as a reference and this is the little piece we're going to slice out so if you guys want to see how easy it is to slice that out we're going to do that now um, so you just want to grab this is my tip like I just like to grab a shape and get like a lot of this taken care of so I just want to focus in on what I actually need okay my friends so focus in on what you actually need and then once you have that there you're going to go ahead and select oops you're going to select this and make sure i have it in position so you're going to select both of those layers and we're going to press down here at the bottom right hand corner slice okay slice boom now this big layer we don't need it right now so we're going to delete i'm going to delete this out and then i'm going to delete this out so now my image is a lot smaller so I can come down here to contour and this makes it a lot easier for me. So I can just go through and click on all these layers. I'm scrolling through, I'm keeping, I'm keeping these um, and I just know which ones to take out. So look at this, awesome, boom. And now I can see I accidentally removed one of my inner pieces right here, I think. So if I bring this contour back up, I can just click on it. Lauren, look how easy that was. So easy. Very simple, very fun. So we're gonna now take that. And remember, who remembers the font we're working with today? I'm sure a lot of you actually already have this font downloaded onto your computer. Um, I love this font. So we just added a circle. I changed the color to white, um, cause that's what we're working with today. And then we have this little greenery piece. So I'm just gonna scale this down twist this around we'll we'll play with this some more when we after we add our text I'm just kind of getting it ready and then if you want you can go ahead and duplicate that and then have another one to spin around you know in another direction and play with it some more so really either way you want to go we'll we'll use these here in a moment so now we're working with that Addy Kate font. So if you're brand new and you're considering a membership today, you can go over to the font area and you can work with all sorts of fonts. All sorts of fonts. I mean, there's so many. 
you can look under view all there's over 700 700 fonts that you get when you get a membership and remember my friends when you go yearly you're getting the amazing amazing um, commercial license you're also getting access to dun, 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 our 30 days to master your cricket challenge now can i have the main camera oh my gosh guys the 30 day to master your cricket challenge is going to be amazing for you if you need help mastering your cricket today so if you need help mastering it this is included for free um, it comes with 30 training videos it comes with the digital ebook version of this so you can go ahead and learn everything i mean there's amazing tutorials on making a stencil this kind of has the quick start guide um, for each training in there so this is really really fantastic um, if you guys are ready to master that Cricut machine and that's what our membership's all about. So when you're over here at the font area, you can just search Addy K and I'm telling you the internet's been weird today. Mm -hmm. Has anyone else experienced this? Like very odd. So you can see Addy Kate's right here, download it, install it onto your computer. And then over here in Cricut design space, add a new text box. And we've already selected Addy Kate. So we're just going to type out Scholar. So there's that. Um, this is right here. And look, I, I've, it's already kerned, but I just want to share with you, for some reason, sometimes fonts may not have, your letter space may look more like this. Like notice how sometimes it can be all the way spaced out. Do not do that. Like make sure they all come together by taking the letter space and bringing it closer together. And then as you can see it come together, this looks really, really good right here. Mm -hmm. So now, once we're happy with it, we are going to weld this. If you do not weld this, they are going to still cut individually. So if I change this to a different color, if I could change this to a different color, which it's not letting me click on the color. Do you see this Lauren? Like it's grayed out up here. I know. It's... I don't listen. <laughs> I've been having some issues with design space this morning. It's, it's wild. So let's just weld this and you go, you have to take my word for it. And then we have our E issue. So this is an ongoing design space issue. We were, it was autumn the last time. It was remember. autumn last time. Let's see if we enlarge it and then press weld. Crystal, while he's doing that, um, the acrylic blanks that we have, we actually cut out with the Glowforge. However, um, Courtney found them this morning on Amazon yes. and has linked that in the description for you. Yes, so that is awesome. Um, and then if we zoom out and then make this, let's Even see, bigger? let's see if this will work. It just zoom adds out. us a little shape. Is that not awful? Um, so at this point, what you could do is you could replicate the shape and do a little knockoff version i have done that before and if if you do not watch this process be done and you just look at it um from my testing no one ever notices mm -hmm. but i just want to let you know it's not going to be absolutely perfect so notice that you just can maneuver it and guys this is just something to have because you're going to be working on a project one not and this is going to happen to you I just want it to be just real. And you're like, going to have to be on a deadline and you're going to mm -hmm. have to get it done and it's mm -hmm. not going to work. Design space does cool things like that. Cool. That's a, that's a way to describe <laughs> it sometimes. Okay, look. Oh my gosh. So I've got my, my little oval. can position that there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is select this layer, press weld, and then I'm going to, I already have my circle right here i'm going to bring it to the front move to uh send to front and now design space look at me now slicing that out boom boom so it looks a little bit different i i do want to acknowledge it does look a little bit different but Lauren, we gotta but do when what you're we on a time do. crunch, yeah. it's not that much of a difference. When you're live crafting with your friends, like yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, <laughs> so just being honest, guys, like right. this happens. 
We okay. will. So there's been someone ask us, and we'll we'll get to that in a minute, asking if there was a link for the heat gun. I don't think we've actually linked this heat gun. This is just one that we have here at the office. But when yes. we get to that point, we can give you the brand of this heat gun. Of course. Um, Great question. And I will we'll do it then. But we're not. We're gonna work yeah, on this design. Yeah, we're working right now. our way. We're working our way there. And then what I want you to also know, guys, is that you do not have to have the same heat gun. I've had multiple different heat guns and they're amazing. So whichever heat gun you prefer, um, you're gonna be able to rock. So literally they're all kind of they're all kind of the same at the same time of like I love the one I have right now, but they're all sort of the same. So yay. So I'm Maria said ungroup to letters and move the E to the right. Oh, th now there are fonts that work better than others. So guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select this and I'm going to click flip and I'm going to flip vertical. So notice how that just totally changed it up. If I can select the right layers here, my friends, I'm going to move this around, scale this up and move it down. I'm trying to see how we had it before. Let's look up here. Okay, so we're going to move it to the middle of the E. I have my scholar really large. And I'm trying to zoom in. I don't know how it looks on your screen. My screen size on my computer is a lot smaller now. So I'm curious how it looks for all of you at home. It looks good. Cool, cool, cool. So you could take this and you know, flip it around. Have it really wherever. There's not a rhyme or reason. Um, so if you wanted it back around the E, look at this. We could just flip it again and then move it around. So this is just part of, you know, what you could do, anything like that. Um, what you can also do here is if I flip it back this way and move it around, and then if I flip it back to the original way, it'll look a lot better around my E. Ta-da! So whichever, you can just play around with this and have fun with it. But what I love, love, love about this is when you're ready um, and when you're done, you're gonna be able to take all of these layers and you're going to go ahead and weld them all together anyway to make one amazing cut. Um, so they're all gonna cut together. And I'm always having such a fun time selecting Scholar or selecting the little uh, piece of greenery that's, you know, the extra little embellishment that kind of makes the project really, really unique and super fun. So um, we've been able to work with the Addy K font. We've been able to weld those letters together. We have pulled out um, a little piece of, you know, greenery or whatever you want to embellish the mm -hmm. ornament. And now there's only one more step to do before cutting. We have one more step. So right before we do that, um, all we have to do is weld it together. So when we weld it together, it is going to be like all the way together. So it's gonna be um, permanent. So I just wanna remind you, if for some reason you know you're gonna do this project multiple times with other names, I like to duplicate it this step. And then my friends, and then after you've duplicated it, what you can do um, is hide it. So that way you have it right there and you can customize people's names or things like that um, if needed. So I actually welded the name together so you would save it beforehand or just, you know, be able to manipulate it later. So luckily with this, it goes really fast. So there's not a ton of layers, but if you want to be in that mindset, you can be there. So let's just do that real quick. Um, I'm going to move out my white circle and we're just going to select all of this and we're going to select weld. Ta-da! So this is all one layer now. Yay! That is awesome. So we're going to cut out this scholar one. I'm going to weld all of this together. Click weld. And then I'm going to change this to another color. This is another hack, my friends. If you ever want to just make sure this is going to go on its own mat, like this is the only thing I'm cutting today, you can just put it a random color that's not on your mat because we, you know, have a lot of different layers as you see here. So now let's press make it and let's go prepare these on a map for us. As you can see, we're using regular acrylic. <laughs> we are using acrylic. We're using regular vinyl today. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't have to mirror it or anything. We're just gonna go press continue. It's going to let us know how to connect our machine. 
Um, oh my gosh, this is a new computer for me. So I get to connect it via Bluetooth. <gasps> Have you guys got to see how to connect via Bluetooth before? Oh my goodness, this is super fun. So under Bluetooth, we're just going to scroll here and press connect. So there we go. And we are connected. Woohoo! So over here, Maker 3. And you always have to select the machine that you are working with in the top right hand corner. Um, so we have to optimize the experience for the Cricut Maker 3. So press that and press make it. Lauren, uh, this is my first day back since the time change. Mm -hmm. Is it just cloudy outside or? I think honestly right now <laughs> it's, it's only just, two o'clock, but it feels like seven o'clock at night. I think right now outside Lauren for us, needs it's a coffee. Just, Lauren just, needs a coffee. <laughs> this is this is too funny. I just don't feel like I'm near as energetic as I have been, but I I just took a I've look not had outside. caffeine all morning. Like all day I've not had caffeine yet. Lauren, better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I would make you a latte, but I don't think we have any milk here. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're selecting the machine. I think you hit Cricut. Um, it says Cricut Maker. Oh, did I? No, you did the oh, Explore 3. Explore 3. Yeah. I don't press the right buttons half the time. That's hilarious. Okay. Now we're Now we're rocking and rolling. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me know how you're having. Are you having a lot of fun on your Veterans Day? Like, let us know. This is my first day back and I'm having so much fun. Um, so we're just connecting these. You all are going to love the painting technique that we're working with. It's so, so easy and so fun. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. I know you're gonna love it. I'm gonna move these out of the. I'm gonna move these out of the oh. way before I get it in the paint. Um, <laughs> it is supposed to rain here, Linda. Oh my gosh! All the friends, Lauren. There are multiple comments talking about is that the Hobby Lobby in Morristown, Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> They're like that. That's my Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Like. <laughs> it's ours yeah. too. That's ours too. So it's a lot of fun. So we like to share the Hobby Lobby, the Hob Lob, as I like to call it. Oh, I've never, I've never called it. You've that. never called that's, it the Hob Lob. That's funny. That is, that is funny. So, I love that. So okay, we can just go ahead. We're adding our white vinyl to our mat. Um, we're going to just select vinyl as our setting. I'm gonna let it use the default setting today. Um, and now it just is ready for us to load it in. So we're loading this into the machine. And then let's go measure our mat size, everything like that. Pour it down here in Texas. Oh my gosh, crazy, crazy. Coffee is needed. I I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lauren, this is not this is this not, is good. not normal, Lauren, right now. It is not. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm okay. I'm doing it for you guys though. Oh but gosh. I'm I have no lies to tell. Like I'm sitting over here watching the video with my head propped up, <laughs> crying my best not to fall asleep. Oh my gosh, I love it. So we're gonna cut this out, and I just want to let you know that I want to encourage you all when making these to use the same technique we are, which is we're gonna put our vinyl down onto our acrylic before we actually paint. Okay, my friends? So here we go. And there it goes. Like we are starting to cut. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and it's so much fun. So yay. I think I'm going to use masking paper transfer tape Wow, today. that sounds... Malia said drinking a chai latte with cinnamon matcha. That sounds so good. Oh, I love a good chai latte. I've never had a chai latte. Mm. I've never had chai. I've never had tea. Kat says, is Makers Gonna Learn still doing videos for collection releases? I didn't see one for today's cut files and was curious. Oh my goodness, Kat. We have not, um, I don't think there are, let me check the release. So if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member, there are releases every single um, Thursday, which today is a release day. We are in the Christmas spirit. So here on the YouTube channel, we have not got to do a ton, but this new collection guys is adorable. So we will have new videos coming, um, but for the meantime, in the interim, we do not have member only videos. So we're super, super excited um, to be adding those back. But at the moment, our team is definitely getting ready for Black Friday and getting ready for the holiday season. So this right here um, is going to be fun and we will have some videos featuring these, but they are not out yet. So this is going to be a really fun one. We cannot wait to share with you kind of like our vision for this one. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I love the Hello World um, for any baby announcement and all of these. I mean, 
the hand lettering and everything is just amazing. So this one is super, super fun and it is it is awesome and the little frog so definitely check that out i know we have some videos coming using especially the frog falls so that'll be fun but great question so let's weed this real quick and then we will be able to get right along to the croft project which is the fun part so i just want to say i'm super proud of how well this cricket cut um this vinyl and guys, I have to also tell you, I made a project for a friend today. And I usually do not say yes to a lot of friend projects, but it's a really good friend um, that asked me. And I did the reverse weeding technique. The reverse weeding technique where I put the vinyl on the um, regular transfer tape prior to weeding. Lauren, have I sh have you seen this ever? No. Lauren, you're this is this is probably going to become one of my new favorite ways of weeding. I could have done it on this project. So you basically put the transfer tape down and peel up all the vinyl and then weed what you what? Yes. Because think about it, the transfer tape is gonna hold these tiny pieces yeah. in place. And it's not gonna move it when you go to weed around it. Yes. Wow. I I've, I've taught the technique before, but it wasn't ever a technique that I was like wowed by or anything like that. But today I made a Spotify frame. And if any of you have tried to weed a Spotify frame, they brought in the smallest. <laughs> they brought in the smallest. It was made by 10 frame, but I wish it was larger. Because mm. um, the letters and everything were so tiny. And I was like, if if I can do this, the only way I can do this is reverse weeding. So anyway, I say all that to say reverse weeding saved the day. And aside from design space not working for me for an hour today, I don't understand why. I think it was during an update. Um, it, it made the project go so smooth. So I was really impressed by it. So I'm just weeding out these little bitty pieces right here. It's awesome. Stacy said that she was really missing the member only videos uh, they will be coming back soon yes. but with it really only being us three here right now yes oh my goodness we're trying to juggle everything but and we're doing we're getting ready for christmas and black mm -hmm. friday and everything else but those member only videos they will be yes back. there's no in, there's no intention of canceling that program no. Um, but we will be adding those back right away. I will say we have been interviewing some amazing candidates to join the Makers Learn family. And I think you all are going to be super impressed and love some of the new faces um, that we, you know, we may be introducing here in the ne short to near future um, here at Makers Learn. So, you know, any, any prayers that you guys have just to support that, that we find the right people that are to pour into our community because it is so special. So any support you have there. We would really appreciate it. Did we not do a video on how to make a Spotify frame? Oh, we did. Yes. yes. I had to reference. So I had to reference my own video. <laughs> That's what um, I thought. So I was watching my own video today, which I'm so grateful for the in-depth training that I provided over a year ago yeah. to learn exactly how to do it again. So it's a live stream. Um, it was in our old studio and it made me just appreciate this studio so much more. Oh my gosh. There's a frog card this week. Okay. Courtney did show up and is letting me know that I thought I was going crazy but let me tell you so we have a new friend her name's Kelsey and she's a paper um she's a paper crafter and she's a 3d expert like literally amazing with her 3d so anyway I'm gonna finish talking about Kelsey real quick uh before I move on with the project so Kelsey has joined the team to take all of our 3d cut falls and add a video to inspire you, motivate you, and encourage you to try out those 3D projects. Because we saw in our in a team meeting like over four months ago, where we were like, our members are struggling with getting the training on 3D projects. So we made an initiative. I wanna just give Courtney props, like 120%. Courtney scouted, recruited, and has been working with Kelsey um, on developing these 3D videos. They're amazing. She teaches you step by step how to work with the file, how to cut the file, how to put it together. Um, so Courtney and Kelsey have been doing amazing. Um, we have pretty much moved a lot of our recruiting internal to the Morristown area just because we have such a beautiful office, such a beautiful studio that we don't want it to go to waste and to allow us to 
utilize the systems we have built for this team. So we're super excited um, and it's awesome, but yay, I love it. I don't find weeding relaxing. It's my least favorite part. Kathy, mm -hmm. I would join you. Like, I think the minority is the people that, well, minority means the majority. The majority. I'm in the. That I think the majority don't find don't it relaxing. find it weeding relaxing. Let us know in the comments if yeah. you do. I, uh, I just don't love it. So, when you get this acrylic, there will probably be like a little piece of protector. Just remove um, this protective little piece. This is to help it from not getting scratched or anything like that. Um, it's the hardest part about working with the acrylic um, of any project. So whether you do this. Um, from Amazon. Some of your craft stores may actually have the acrylic blanks too because it is the holiday season and it's so fun. So yay and oh my gosh thank you Courtney right? Like yes. thanks Courtney. Go Courtney. Courtney so, like Courtney may not w be a lot in these lives that you all see but the Courtney's amount passion. of work that she puts in behind the camera y'all it's unmatched. Yes. Yeah it's unmatched. unmatched. She shows up and I will say Courtney's one of those people um, also like Lauren that just like see something not getting done and just gets it done like Courtney's awesome so go court court um, for especially the 3d files because I know you all will really really appreciate a lot of those 3d files um, and having the training so those are going to be added um, to a lot of the goodness that you have on the membership so woohoo I love it I refuse to do the mandalas <gasps> We could do a weeding challenge. That would be that would be a good challenge. That would be a hoot and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney and I could go head to head for a weeding mandala, mandala weeding challenge. And the reason why I don't think I don't know who would win. I mean, I would hope I would with all the weeding I've done in my life, but I don't know. Mm. So okay, that'd be hard. Yeah, it would be hard. So I'm going to grab my. Oh my goodness. Do -do -do. Oh, here's, I fell in love with this thing, guys, like, love it, love it. Just going to burnish and then peel up. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the, the word here, scholar. And then here's what I would do. Like right now, I can't see anything. Like I, I would be going in kind of blonde. Flip it over, trim your, your excess vinyl just or your transfer sheet just so you can get closer to what you're cutting okay yeah this is a great little tip just to help you get the best results right away okay do, 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 do. Ta -da. and then look at this now we can see this now we can place this right where we want oh no oh no this is exactly what happened to me the last really? time really yes that's what why, the heck? That's why it, it it's where you have to cut it down so small it right? kind of falls out of your hands. Yeah. So one thing that, <laughs> that was I literally awesome. like one did thing you that, see it just went yeah. wow. we're gonna cut it again. One thing that this I awesome. just thought of that would probably work is before clear you clear transfer that, tape. Well, you could do clear <laughs> transfer tape, but before you pull that, if you are using the masking oh transfer tape, before you pull How it up off of there, what if you took like a sharp or took a mark not a sharpie but a mark and did a straight line across so you know it would be laying straight across the top of the transfer tape. Do you see D? Lauren, I don't think I'm picking up what you're sitting you're down right now. I'm putting up. I, mm. But also, I think I'm just too embarrassed that I. Did <laughs> anyone see? Catherine, I did not alcohol first for the reason that I thought it was not. Like, this is such a clean piece because I just peeled off this, yeah. uh, like the plastic, you know, the little transfer protector. I did not. And let me tell you, it is, would the parchment paper hack work? Yes, the parchment paper hack would work great here. Um, there's so many hacks that would work great here. So vinyl, okay, now we can load this in. We're gonna recut this and I'm gonna use clear transfer tape. I'm, I'm not saving, there's no reason to save the money when I've wasted the time now. Yep. Or the parchment paper. Whichever. Or the parchment paper. Uh, I, I think for this, it. I think for this small of a project, the parchment paper would be a little harder. It would I think be a you'd, lot. I think yeah. you're going to be better off just using clear uh, yeah. transfer. That way you can see, because all the only thing that happened to me was a hair of my little uh, embellishment was going off the off the ornament, and I didn't see that, so that was funny. 
Okay, go to the cricket camera because I'm gonna run and grab some transfer tape. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Press and tilt. Okay, so while he's getting that, there was I was gonna address. Earlier, we had someone ask if we could drop the link for that, and I know I'm going back to where we were before, but drop the link to the um, Spotify thing. If you'll just search Makers Gonna yes. Learn Spotify, there is, and Aaliyah touched on it too, there is a Spotify frame, but there's also a Spotify cassette. Oh, yes, there's two different projects. Yes. Both of them supporting cut files for you, my friends. Uh -huh. um, so you're gonna love both of those. And today, since I already was talking about like, hey, I'll show you reverse weeding now that we now that we have a second one. Because mm -hmm. when you reverse weed, you do want to use regular Cricut brand transfer tape. I love, love, love the Cricut brand transfer tape. Like, it's awesome. And this is just cutting away. Cannot believe I did that. That's I love so keeping funny. the mistakes in. It's reality. Yeah. It, it is. Uh, it really is. People commented last week, and they were like, you know, Tanner, I loved your mistakes. It just made you feel more human, and I related to you more. I'm like, hmm. Glad, I'm glad. I'm the happy perfectionist for you. in me loves that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to trim out the extra because we don't want any extra um, vinyl. And my true control knob is in the floor. So, okay, let's head over to the overhead because I want to show you all you that all that you have to do. Like this is pretty simple. So we're going to take our transfer tape. Notice this has not been weeded. Okay, not weeded at all. Transfer tape, apply it down. This is, a, this is one of the sad realities of working with this thing. It happens often. So we burnished. We're gonna burnish here. So burnish, burnish, burnish. Okay. It happens all the time. All right, so now we're going to peel this back. And you have this. Now what we wanna do is grab our piece of vinyl and peel this back. Now watch what starts to happen. We start getting our layers and look at this. I'm just sitting here and all watching it myself. Oh, get ready. I mean, these other pieces, the real, the, the real, real magic, magic happens. happens after you have got these smaller pieces. Okay. Now do not let it stick to itself. That would not be good here. So go slow. Okay. 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 So now that, and I know it's watt on watt, so I apologize, but look at this. So we've got this piece. Wow. Yeah. Like it's really handy. Um, and I've had a great, great results with this right here. Okay, so this is called reverse weeding. If you guys want to see a video on it, I, I do have a full video on walking you through exactly how to reverse weed. Um, it's I've also seen people like put this down onto their acrylic or onto their blank and actually weed it after. Um, I find that really interesting. I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, also like doing it right on the material so it's a lot easier. Um, and I've stabbed myself. I'm known to stab myself if I don't have it down on the table surface. But notice it's kind of holding it together for us. All this is the top of your head right now. It's okay. <laughs> I had, I had, I'm focused on my piece of vinyl here. Look at this, okay. Okay, okay. Ta-da! Yeah, that, that right there is just I think yeah. to me would be a game changer. Right. I mean, it, it is a game changer, especially for projects like this, because you could ruin it so easily. For the small, for the really small pieces, yes. Way to go, Leanne. So Leanne just joined her yearly go Makers Leanne. Gonna Learn membership last Friday and received her Cricut Maker on Monday. She's been making go planning Leanne. stickers. Oh my goodness. And she's ready to advance forward. Well, we're here and we're ready to help you advance yes. forward. Yes. Woohoo. We're so excited. Congratulations on the Cricut and on everything. I mean, that is amazing. So, okay. Now what we're going to do is now that we have it, look, the clear transfer tape helps me see that, oh, I can place this right here. And it is close to the edge, but that's okay. So just like so, we have that right here. And then what we're going to do is just be able to apply that down and then peel up our transfer tape. 
look at this. Okay, so now that we've applied that, we are able to quickly take that and I have this one I already applied it to. They're, they look pretty much exactly the same. So now what we're going to do is flip it over to the back and this is where we do our painting technique. Now, where can we see this right here? Right can there, we see I'm this? gonna give you, I'm You're gonna, gonna hand I can you. bring, I could put, should I do something black? Yeah, that's should a lot black? better. Should I do black with this yes. again? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. Um, I love it, love it, love it. So, okay, so we flipped it around back. So we're not painting um, actually on the vinyl. This no. Is, this is clear. Listen, I did that the first time. Did you really? I actually, if you look closely on Courtney's tag. That's so funny. It's a little bit, but the good <laughs> thing is, is alcohol oh was my, my best yes. friend. And I, I was able it. to. I love it. I love it. Take the paint off before it dried. That's awesome. So we're using Santa Red. This is from Deco Art Americana. We put it on, um, we've got it right here. I did like just started getting this ready prior. So we're gonna take a dry brush. The dry brush is going to create the painting, you know, kind of like all of these uh, paint strokes. So I'm going to do kind of like thin layers right here. And then you can kind of, whoops, forgot to take some of this excess off. So you can kind of just take that excess off and then just kind of create these paint strokes. So just like so, you can take that and work your way around. You can do whatever you want here. Um, try your best to just go kind of free with it so that you're able to get the best results and it goes well. So as you can see here, I can then flip it back over and say, okay, I want to go a little bit wider over here. So I can just kind of extend this out as well. Super fun. And then as we build up these layers, I'm just going to heat set it. So I'm just going to heat set this. So while we're doing the heat gun, why don't you, uh, what brand is that? I was trying to look while ago. This is a see. Chandler tool from okay. Amazon. Chandler tool from Amazon. So super fun. I'm gonna grab some more paint. I'm gonna dry brush that. And then I'm gonna make sure to go a lot thicker right here in the middle so that we can focus in on our actual item. So I'm just going around where there's actually vinyl and making it a lot thicker, just like so. And then you can heat set that. And you can flip it around and start seeing it come together. And then I'm like, okay. So then I flip it over and I'm like, this area over here needs a lot more uh, especially with that thicker color. So I'm just gonna take that, dry brush some off, and then just start bringing that in around here. This is so much fun. So, yay! And then you can go a little bit lighter. You can add, you can add some paint here. Super fun. Okay. So yeah, Chandler Tools, great little autumn to have. I found it on Amazon and I was trying to drop the link. The link was too long for the oh, comment. Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll train you on the link drop-in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Lord, I've never shown Lauren how to drop a link for you guys. I apologize to all of you. So again, you just start building that out. And as you can see here, you could add in more paint around like I could add more up here in this corner. I mean, honestly, the possibilities are endless about how you wanted to do it. You could focus in more of a circle. My technique here was just to focus in on like specifically where it was and then just kind of make it look splattered around the, the rest of it. If you wanted to bring it on down more, you totally could. It's super simple. And then after that, what you're going to do is we're gonna make sure this is draw. And again, even though this is heat set, like you would want to let this dry, mm -hmm. you know, for a minute. So we're going to set that over to the side. And then what we're going to do is pull in our finished products. So these are actual great examples to add to stockings that, you know, you want to have some colors pop with or anything like that. Um, and the last thing that we will do is take some just canvas ribbon. We're going to take a pair of scissors, chop that off. And then what we're going to do is thread this through. 
So this is awesome. And then after you're done, you would connect it to your actual stocking or anything like that. You could just, you know, tie this and have it connect a different way. But a lot of the stockings, you could just attach it right, right here. So both of these are adorable and they're super, super simple to be able to create. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So Chelsea, um, our friend says, I've been a member almost a year. Will my membership automatically renew? Yes, yes, it will automatically renew for you. That is awesome. And then Chloe B, could you just use a hair dryer? Yes, you could use a hair dryer, but just be ready for that to take a little bit longer um, for you to have it uh, dry up and things like that. So I'm just gonna finish this off and tie it. It'll be super fun. So yay! Oh my gosh, what did you guys think of these amazing stockings? Let me know. I love these stocking tags and I think you guys will too. So yay! Okay. Trim these off. Boom. Super simple. And they're awesome. So yay! So cute. I love it, my friends. And this someone said, awesome. had suggested, and I don't remember who it was, but had suggested um, there are larger acrylic discs on Amazon. You could do the three and a half for the stocking, but yes. then get a larger one and do ornaments <gasps> that yes. kind of coordinate. Would oh be my gosh. Beautiful. That would be really fun. You could, I mean, depending on how big they go, like you could add um, into your other decor and add it into a wreath. I've seen this kind of the same technique um, do wedding projects. Mm -hmm. I've seen some really fun, but I've seen too many fall projects, but mainly, especially Christmas, you could do, you know, some of the eight by 10, just draw acrylic with a quote. I mean, there's so many different things to do with the draw brush. Yes. I think you guys are going to love it. Look at everyone. Yay. Wooden beads on the ribbon would be adorable. Yes, Catherine. I love that. Yes. You would have to drill out a larger, just the size of the bead to fit through the hole there. So that is awesome. And we're super, super excited, my friends. But if you're not a member, you can get instant access to our 30 days to master your cricket course. This is included free when you say yes to your membership. Thousands of cut balls, hundreds of fonts, my friends. Guys, the possibilities are endless. So before we head out today, I'm going to open up. If there's any live Q and A, anything that you want to ask us, anything like that, go ahead and drop a comment real quick. Membership related, craft project related. You've got to see so many trial and error techniques today, whether it's the masking paper, transfer tape, not being able to see the vinyl, the, to the reverse weeding, uh -huh. the Cricut design space, what should I do with my bot letters, things like that. <laughs> You guys have been definitely in for a treat with like three or four training videos all in one. So that's awesome. So, oh, I need to say yes. Yes, please, my friends. If you are on the fence about membership, lowest price of the year, grandfathered in. If our rates go up next year, you are locked in at our lowest rate, which is awesome. So, yay, love these adorable. Woohoo. That is awesome. Okay. Someone did ask about putting a picture on this i don't know that they're you could you do could? a print and cut yeah you, you would just want to like put it i guess in a circle and then kind of do this technique around the edges of that you could follow the, pretty much the same process and you know bring that vision to life so yes if yes. you wanted to you could totally do that um i would just use like a really good quality print and cut so that yeah. is awesome and we're super super excited um is the membership a dollar each month or how does that work and if you sign up for a dollar trial you get to download 20 cut files of your choice and then after that you would go to a monthly membership definitely check out the options for our year if you want access to like commercial lessons bonus training and everything like that so we're super excited but thank you guys so much i hope you all have an amazing amazing day and we're super very excited to see you in the Makers Learn community. Go check out that new release we we're showing you earlier too if you're a member. So see you guys back here um, very soon tomorrow. I'll be live talking about machines that you could get for Christmas. So I'll see you guys at that live training. Bye my friends. Bye.